morning. I am going to uh, share um, a godly play story in place of the sermon today. Um, if any of the younger people want to come up and join me, um, I'd appreciate it because <laughs> I get lonely. <laughs> Hi. All right, we're going to do the story right here. So if you guys want to form the circle. Make sure to leave a spot in the middle because the camera represents um, the children in our circle that are at home. So try to keep the, this middle part free. If we could scooch back and make our circle a little bit bigger, there we go. You guys are doing great. Um, this is a little bit of a bigger story, so if you want to scooch back a little bit more, good job, good job. And. You guys are all familiar with Godly Play, and you know how to get ready. I see how quickly you guys have gotten ready. But um, for the grown-ups, um, I'm going to be sharing the story. And then um, after the story, we open it up with some wondering questions. Um, last time when we did a Godly Play story, um, the children up here wondered. This time, you will also be invited to wonder with us. So pay attention um, and think about the story. Um, the important thing with wondering questions is there's no one correct answer. So um, don't feel you have to come up with the right answer, but come up with the answer that is where you are right now. All right, are we ready to begin? All right. Look, what have we got here? This box looks kind of old, doesn't it? You know, parables are very old. They were given to us long before we were born. And what color is this box? Gold. Oh, parables are more valuable than gold. Look, it has a lid. Yeah, all boxes have lids. Well, not all boxes. A lot of boxes have lids, right? But lids keep us sometimes from getting inside. Parables are like that. Sometimes they're hard to get inside of. But you know what we need to do? We need to just keep coming back and trying again and again. And one day, it'll open up for us. It also looks kind of like a present, doesn't it? And parables were presents that were given to you. It doesn't have to be your birthday or holiday. They were given to you just because a long time ago, before any of us were even born. You know what we should do? We should open it up and see if there's a parable inside. You think so? Okay. Let's see here. Hmm. What is this? It is certainly yellow. Lots and lots of yellow there. I wonder what it could be. What do you think it is? Sand? could be sand. What do you think it could be? The sun. Big and yellow like a sun. Hmm. I wonder. Should we see if there's another side? There's always another side. Let's see. Oh, no, it's just yellow too. Well, let's see if there's anything else in here. No, there's things to tell the story, but I guess we should begin. All right. There was once someone who said such wonderful things and did such amazing things that people followed him. And when they followed him, he talked about a kingdom. But it was not like the kingdom they lived in. It was not like any kingdom they had ever been to or that they knew about from anybody else. One time when he was talking about the kingdom of heaven, they just had to ask him, what is the kingdom of heaven like? And he said, the kingdom of heaven is like when a person plants the 
the smallest of seed, mustard seed, which is so small that if I had on the tip of my finger, you wouldn't even be able to see it. And he plants it in the ground, and it begins to grow. It grows, it grows. The branches spread out. And it becomes a shrub as big as a tree. And the birds come and they build their nest there in the branches. Do you want to put a a nest in a bird on the tree? It's a good spot. Oh, there you go. Give it a nest. Do you want to put some on there? You want to put a bird in the nest too? There you go. You want to put a bird in the nest too? Okay. Okay. That's a nice bird. Did you want to? Some more of the birds in the branches here. Hmm. Now I wonder if the person put the tiny in the ground has a name. Does anybody think of a name? Any other think that they know the name of the person who put the seed in the ground? Oh, what do you think it is? The Good Shepherd? The Great Shepherd? Oh, sorry. Yes. The Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd planted the seed. That could be. We learn a lot about the Good Shepherd, don't we? Yeah. I wonder if that person was happy to see the birds coming. Would you, they were happy? We were happy to give the birds a home. Yeah. I wonder what they were doing while the shrub was growing. Yes. Trying to find a home themselves? Okay. Any of the grown ups have any? What, what would you do while, the, while your shrubs are growing? Water them, yes. Take care of it, nurture it. Get rid of the weeds. Now here's an interesting one. I wonder if we could take this whole shrub and push it back into that tiny little seed. Can we put it all back? You can? You think so? 
You ever tried that? Take something and push it back into the seed? Yes. Yeah, because it's too big. Too big to fit again. You need the grown-ups? You think you could push it back into the seed? No. <laughs> Now, I wonder if the seed, how the seed felt. Was the seed happy when it was growing so big? Yes. Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah. I wonder what it would feel like. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if these birds have names. Did you name the birds that you put on the branches? No. Yes. That's a good name. Any other names? Yes. What was it? Blue? Blue. This one? Or with this one, this one would be more ironic, huh? I wonder if the birds were happy that they found the tree. Yes. Yeah, they're happy to find a place to live. Yeah, it's always nice to find a nice shelter, huh? Any of the grown-ups have any thoughts about how the birds felt and if they have names? If. Protected, yes. I wonder what the tree could really be if it wasn't a tree. Yes. A plant or a weed? Okay. Any grown ups have any thoughts on what the tree could really be? What? Growing faith. Generations. That's very good, yes. Generations means that, um, like maybe you could have like parents and this is the grandparents and this is the great grandparents. So there could be generations of birds living in that in that bush now. When they have babies, the babies will come back and they'll nest in the tree. Like that. Any other any other thoughts on what the tree could really be? A motel? A motel for birds. Oh, sorry, my foot's falling asleep. I need to move it. <laughs> um, Christian faith, yes. Could be growing like Christian faith. I wonder if you have ever come close to a tree like this. No, you haven't? Have you come close to a tree like this? Oh, there's a tree by where you live that you go to and remind you of this? No, you should never gotten up close to a tree like this. Okay. Have any of the grown ups come close to a tree like this? Not in Arizona. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. In other places we have trees like this. I wonder what this could really be. What could the nest be? Yes. Hair? Yes. Sometimes they make nests out of hair. Yeah. 
Yes. Feathers, sticks, and meat. Okay. Moss. Yeah. Lots of things contribute to the nest, huh? Yeah. Mud and sticks. Branches or sticks, okay. I think that the nest could really be. Any of the grown ups want to give thoughts on what the, the nest? Community. Who said that? I, I need to stop being a, come up with really good answers. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Yes. Community. Community. Okay. Yes. Oh, there's a there's another hand up. A safe place. A safe place. Yes. Uh, the nest could. Yes. Yeah. Uh, builds into the all the life-giving things that were that they were made out of, huh? Yeah. Any other thoughts on what the nest could really be? Sanctuary. Yes. My final question is, I wonder what this whole place could really be. Yes. A tree on a sun. Hmm, that would be interesting. A house with a what? I'm sorry. A home for birds? Like a big tree house or a big birdhouse in a tree? Yeah? Yeah, the tree is the birdhouse. Good point. Yes. God's creation? The start of a forest. All forests have to start somewhere with one. Any other ideas from the from the adults of what this whole place could really be? The church. Yes. The person who planted would have had to really love that tree to bring that water five miles. Any other thoughts on what this could, all this could really be? A water hole? <laughs> yes. Yes. Growth? Yes. All righty. Well, I am going to... Put the bird. Sorry. Then, if you build a house there, would the bird still come? People in the treehouse, where do the birds hung, I guess? Yeah. Would you be nice to the birds? Good. Okay, we're going to put the, the birds and the nests away. And uh, put the mustard tree back. Yes. <laughs> This this time we can put it back in the seed. <laughs> so we can have it grow next time we want to tell the story, right? And here's the person who planted the seed. Oh, here's a fun little thing. Here's a picture of a person standing next to a mustard tree so you can see how big it is in real life. Camera 
can zoom in on that well enough so you can get a kind of imagery. Little need, right? All right, and here is the mustard seed. All right, thank you all very much for helping me tell the story. All right, let me, should we go back to our seats and say the prayers now? Sounds good, all right. Thank you.